No, he wasn't mad. Not just that, though. Her, her, my nephew, my nephew Rico, her son, every bit of Andy, which is my uncle, which is bed daddy. Andy, my uncle Andy, was 6'6", six, six, tall, real dark, talk fast, stutter, can't fuss because he going to want to fight. Always want to fight, get mad real quick. When I started getting my nieces and nephews, Rico, bitch, boy, hey, just like my uncle. I'm like, this girl, this man couldn't deny this child if he wants to. This, all her kids got heads in them. You hear me? Bitch, it is. Girl, listen, my uncle ain't on my dad's side was my favorite uncle. He was so protective. He ain't played by his nieces. He was so protective. And he looked like, and he mature resemble. Yes. Like, girl, please. Rico looked every bit of my uncle Andy. Act like him. Get mad too fast like him. Won't fight all the time. Stutter real bad. Like Pickle and Andy. The same way my nephew Rico stutter, I used to stutter the same way. And they came from my poor side. Bitch, I used to stutter so bad. I, I still stutter, but I don't stutter how my nephew stutter. I used to stutter really, really bad. I kind of taught myself how to how to really speak when I'm talking. But how my nephew stutter, that's how my uncle Andy used to stutter. So, you know. My mom, my mom ain't say nothing. She said we just need to grow a bond with our sister, whatever. And she was making jokes like that. that she, she was making jokes like that nigga cheated on me. <laughs> but you know, it wasn't nothing. It wasn't nothing like that though. Yeah, I see my sister. I I just seen Michelle. Um, Michelle came to my house when I made them red beans. Monk and was killed by the police. Michelle IG is Nola, Nola Banks. You could just you could either search it in or you could look in my in my follows. People I follow and type in Nola Banks. It's gonna pop. Yeah, and my she got my birthday party too. Yeah, me and Freddie Cousins. So look, so me, me and Big Frida call each other cousins, but our our connected cousin is Belle, right? Belle is Belle daddy and my daddy brothers. Frida is Belle Belle is Frida cousin too, but on his mama's side. I'm Belle cousin on his daddy's side. So we not blood. But we do call each other cousins because, you know, me growing up, I always seen freedom. Fuck. Just a little dash to cut the ass. Yeah, we share cousins, so we not we not blood cousins, but we say we we be cousins. I mean, you know, for growing up, I, I always called him cousin. He always called me cousin. Yeah. I know, I do know how to tell a story. My bad. I tell a story, the story that been in the last of us so long. I'm not moving to Houston. No, she don't. I think that's no shit. Yeah, this is so pressed. Oh no, that's not my saying. I don't know what the color is. I just saw a color and picked it. It was a new color too when they told me about it. 
Yes, she, she loved it. I ain't never get girlfriend from Triangle. Why you with her? Yes. Like a dog skin reading. Same nose and everything. Same lips. Little bit ass lips. Like a white girl. <laughs> Pickle got some little bit ass lips. Raven got some little bit ass lips. Michelle got some little bit ass lips. Why well, I got my tax form is, is, is on my page. I would move out, um, outside of New Orleans. Yeah, yeah it's on my head. I'm going to build a house on it. It's cool out here. Yeah, that's, that would be key, keynote speaking. Um, yes. I'm taking, um... I'm gonna take my children somewhere. I'm gonna take a list somewhere after her birthday. Lil gonna have a big old birthday for the old love. Super, when did you discover you like with me? Girl, since daycare. Listen, girl, since daycare. Girl, I was in daycare when I was one year old. I seen this little one year old girl. She was so cute. She had, she had the prettiest pamp on. I said, ooh, girl, thick. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, since young, very young. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> It, it, it depends on a girl, honestly. I didn't double it all. Thick, skinny. Yeah, I'm sure I got three kids. I just be up. Just be up. Yes, I am. No, she never going to get fixed. Mm. Nah, I, I, I can't see it. I can never play with a stud. Nah, I, I can't see it. But I always see it. Who's your I, I, young and me, girl, what? Girl. No. No, girl. I've been serious with women. It just don't get that far as a relationship. What did you say? Good because you just look like top of the shelf. What you mean top of the shelf? What you mean by that? Because yeah, clearly I don't be picking top of the shelf niggas. Clearly. <laughs> yeah, I still let my kids see them. My kids ain't got nothing to do with them. Good night, girl. Because I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. It, it just never really, never really get there. It just never really get there. I don't know. Morning. In the jiffy. It's stand up to so I get up. I know. I broke across on one day. Morning. Thank you, lovely. Do you have a 
make them this now. No, I I ain't never make a physical list, but I got a list in my mind. I see you on my shine. Who is that? Who is this? Thank you. Love you too. Have all fun. I'm I'm definitely gonna be having fun while I'm single. Bitch, I see for me. Girl, I am a fan of Meek. I am not attracted to Meek. I am a fan. A huge fan. That's it. Y'all don't remember years ago when Meek was was with Nikki and I kept posting everything about them? I just wanted to leave all that shit off my page. I, I cause it was a hashtag. It was a it, I was using two hashtags. I was using the Omega hashtag and um and uh and I live hashtag. It was like and I live. And I went on all those hashtags and deleted all that. You could even they got some people that used to repost stuff that I posted, so it, it it it's still on the hashtag. And I live hashtag. I used to post everything about Omika. So you know I wasn't no fucking Oh, you know, oh, I'm no, I, I always, I'm, I'm a, a real diehard fan of Meek and Kevin Gates. It's, it's not no type of attraction, and it's always telling the nigga that, cause the nigga feel like you just be attracted to any nigga who you just say you a fan of, girl. Yeah, the only, I think the only real celebrity crush I had on somebody was Hitman Holla. That was that, but you know, me and him got real cool. I'm real cool with his girlfriend. I was cool with his girlfriend before she was his girlfriend. So, you know, they ain't, they ain't last well. Yeah, they ain't last well. Not like I was trying to fuck or nothing, but you know. You know, like when you just be a, that's when you like, you were attracted to something. But I, 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 I never really was attracted to, like, like, it's not a person, it's not a person who, you know, I'd be like, oh, I won't meet him because I won't tell him how, it, it, it was never nothing like that, you know. It was never nothing like that. Because I love Miko. Well, I, I, I know him as an artist, not as a, you know, his personal, his personal space, you know? But I never met him. No, I ain't listen to it yet. I, I gotta listen to it in the call. I, I can't listen to it while I'm, you know, on the phone. I gotta listen to it in the call. I already know, baby. Love you too. Girl, I had you. Drake. Drake. Yes, it is. It do. It, it, it hit my different. It hit way different when you listen to, especially when you listen to something new like a like a new mixtape, a new album, an EP. I gotta listen to it in the car. Where you coming home from? Yeah, the gumbo city. Super and Grand Square Union. I'm definitely gonna need the the, the glam squad for this next campaign. I probably wouldn't. He's too skinny. Nah, I'm no. I don't have a crush on nobody. Just because you attracted somebody, crush and attracted is two different things. You know, you could be attracted to somebody, oh, little, little, you know, but he cute. You know, if you want, I'll, I'll talk. But a crush is when you just be admiring someone from afar, and but you keep up with them because you like them so much. Like a crush is bitch when you used to post them posters on the wall 
of, you know, sync and fucking Bow Wow and all of them. That's a crush. A attraction is when you just see somebody. You may see him every now and then and you just, you know, oh, he cute. You know, I give him the time of day if he, you know, if if, if, if you gonna fuck with me. But that's two different things. I ain't got a crush on nobody. Nobody. I agree. I agree. I did not finish grazing that video. Yeah, we're going to it to like throw something. Um, I don't know. I, I just might do. You know I think about I was thinking about writing a story about some stuff that happened in some relationships. And turn it into like a, and put it on there. That would be funny. I'm sure I ain't got no crush. I'm positive. How could you think that's gonna keep? Who? What last were you talking about? Oh no, nah, I'm I, I'm gonna be single for a second. I could feel it. I, I got so much in store for this this year. I don't got time to be compromising for no nigga. Especially if he not understanding of what I'm trying to do. He's hoping not cousins. Toke is more like a like a baby sister, but that's my best friend though. But she more like a, a, a baby sister. I dated a fan before. It was a girl. It turned out really bad. It turned out horrible, actually. Never again. <laughs> you, regular job, you regular guys got to be able to keep up, baby. Just saying. Got to be able to keep up. Speak at that. Yeah. Once you start compromising, it just fuck with it. Just fuck with a lot of things in your life, honestly. You just start compromising, and now you can't do this because you're trying to respect the man, and I ain't got time for that. I do do. Boys, a dub for you. What dub me? Get right, Glam Squad. I love her new project. I've been waiting on her to drop some new shit. Yes, you would definitely lose yourself trying to, trying to uh, uh, attend to every man needs. Just because he unsure about something, you trying to give him reassurance, but it just don't be enough. Because it's just being in your own mind, baby. Ugh. It can't end if a man don't be a Men do Men definitely become a two leader. Girl, Kevin Gates is with Rico. Why would you try to throw me with a with a married man? Why y'all do that? And again, I, I am a fan. A fan. How do I feel about Boobs is speaking on Lord? I didn't I didn't really see what he said, honestly. I, I just saw when people was responding to it. I didn't see what he said. What did he say? Can I love? Okay. 
ले अपने बिगो पर बर्थडे गर्ल लिसन वाई आई डोंट गिव लू अनदर चांस नो वन इज परफेक्ट सो बूम आई मीन लेट मी आंसर दिस सो यू गॉट टू काइंड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंड इवन दो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड बट लेट मी जस्ट आंसर दिस थिंक अबाउट इट यू रेडी लिसन रियल क्विक जुलाई August, September, October, November, December, January, February. It's been eight months, right? Think about it. Just, 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 just think right quick. It's been eight months. You ready? What has changed in eight months? What has changed in eight months? What has, what has he gained in eight months? Outside of being in a relationship with me, what has he gained? So, you gonna just come back to the table with nothing? Is that benefiting me or him? Let me know, and then you tell me, what the fuck would I be going back for? For what? Who went in? Think about it. Think about it. He would came back with his own house, own car. Had money flowing in, this, that, all that, and all that. Think about that. Just think about it. So now I'm thinking, do a nigga want to come back? Because the amenities, or because of the family. Just think about it. No, it ain't happening. Just saying. Yeah, good dude though. You know, y'all won't fuck with that. Go fuck with that. Yeah, good dude. You know, he got some great qualities. But these niggas gotta boss the fuck up. I'm sorry. These niggas gotta get with the motherfucking program. I'm sorry. Thank you. Girl, you know I was in the court. I was in Grenada because somebody was trying to sue me. Girl, that was crazy. But um, yeah, you know, if you break up, if you if you break up with somebody, and they left with nothing, and they trying to come back with nothing, why you let them come back? At all that time y'all were separated, nothing happened. They didn't do anything with themselves to even show that they want that, that they able to come back. You don't got time for that. You ain't got time for that. Don't let nobody hold you up, niece. Not saying you know he 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 was holding me up because you know whatever whatever move I wanted to make professionally, I was able to make it. But come on now. We gotta. We didn't settle enough. We can't keep settling. That's my cousin. Boy, my cousin, my baby. But I'm just saying. I don't know why the fuck y'all thought he was. Yeah, he is. He a great dude. He gonna make somebody extremely happy. I 
I didn't, I didn't settle, I didn't settle, I ain't, I ain't settle with Sage neither, fuck. Sage got a lot going on for herself, he's just not the man for me. Just not the man for me. Love you too. Nah, he a good dude. He ain't, you know. Not cuckoo. Girl, I already like that. <laughs> Listen, I, um... <laughs> that cuckoo, girl. Oh, yeah. Um, he, I don't know. Eyes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He was cute. Fuck to me, all of them was cute. All of them was was handsome. Some some niggas just be there. Listen, not saying, and I don't, I don't think. Listen, for me to sit up here and say, look, I, I, I need to find a man on my level. Like, think about it. I, and, I, and I'm not saying I can't. I'm definitely not saying I can't. But I made twenty six million dollars in twenty twenty. Can I find a man that made thirty? Can I? In my, what, what is it like for me to find a man that made thirty million dollars last year? Since the man supposed to make more than a woman. What is it like for me to find a man that made $30 million last year? Hmm. I'm just saying. So I got to set up for at least... Did, did you at least make a meal? You know, think about it. I'm... I'm I, and I'm not saying I'm, I'm not going to find it. But it don't look likely. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it don't look likely. It just don't look likely. No, I ain't, I'm not dating on nigga shorter than me. Sorry. I got to at least be physically attracted to you. I got to be physically... Listen, for me, the, the, the physical part is... You're not going to... Listen, I have to be physically attracted to you. Because think about it. I'm going to be fucking on you and sucking on you. I got to... You can't turn me off in the bedroom, nephew. You just can't. I got to be physically attracted to you. I don't care what you got going on. If, you, if, you, if, if I ain't liking you, I ain't liking you. That's just what it is. Bitch. I got to be lusting over you, bitch, when I see a cute picture. Or when I see you walk past, bitch, and you only got your boxes on. I, I, bitch, I got to be... I gotta be, you know, lusting. I gotta be gonna fuck, you know. And so if I'm not physically attracted to you, it, it's nothing we could do but talk about some business. Cause bitch, I don't wanna talk about nothing else with you. Damn. Oh, y'all asking for too much. Just say you ain't got one of them. You must ain't got the looks of the money. That's fine. You probably got a good heart. You know. The thing is, it's not about money making you happy. It's about stability. The thing is, without you, what what is this man going to be without you? That's the that's the question. The question is, what is this man going to be without you? What is he going to do if you leave his life to dare tomorrow? What is he going to do? Is he going to be straight? Is he going to be able to go to work every day? Drive himself? Is he going to be able to... to to go to his house, his own house? 
Is he gonna be able to pay his own bills? Like the it's it's about stability. It's not about it's not about it's not about the money making nobody happy. It's about him being able to take care of himself. Can you take care of yourself without me in your life? That's the thing. The the the, the main thing with with, with, with problems is fi fi financial issues. Can you take care of yourself without me? That's all. Can you? If I leave out your life today or tomorrow, what will you lose? You shouldn't be able to lose your business. You shouldn't be able to lose your career. You shouldn't be able to lose your house or your car. You shouldn't be able to lose nothing but me. That's all I'm saying. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Like, what is it? What is it, nephew? If you can't hold your own, then you definitely can't deal with me. You just got to be able to hold your own. That's all. That's all. Just hold your own. Just hold your own. Bro, are you going to be able to maintain your lifestyle without me? No. Well, no, no, you can't. Cause I've, I've, I've grew to be attracted to somebody I, I was dealing with before. Right. Because these niggas be lying. Them niggas make it seem like they can, but they can't. They be lying. Fuck niggas be lying. Niggas be lying. Oh, niggas be lying. I ain't fuck with no Saints Field. I, I honestly don't want to mess with nobody that's in the public eye like me. I really don't. Honestly. It comes with too much. You already gonna... Bitch, I'm already baggage. You know? Then I gotta come with your baggage too. Girl, dealing with stage was stressful with that internet shit. For real, for real. All that internet shit and all that, like, damn. That, that shit was aggravating. I tell me something. That's how I got it flat. Why, why my generator came on? I know. I do. No, I didn't say I want to find a man that made thirty million. I said I made twenty six million dollars last year. So if I gotta find a man on my level, I'm gonna find a man that made thirty. That's what I said. I didn't say I'm looking for a man that made millions of dollars. I ain't I I ain't, I ain't said it. Hopefully I can because when it's time for me to get up and do stuff. I'm not trying to cover every tab. That's what I'm saying. Now, if you building something, okay, that's that, that's different. Especially if you started building it before me. Let's talk about that. Building it before me. Before me. Not trying to start building something once you give. Listen, niggas do be motivated. I get it. But think about it. Think about it. Just, like, just think about it. Listen, y'all don't know how it feel to be over here. Trust me, you just, you just don't know how it feels to be over here. This shit's stressful. This shit's stressful. It's stressful because you got to decipher everybody who comes into your life. You you trying to really sit up there and think, what the fuck they here for? Some niggas just want to fuck with you just so they can start a business because they know they gonna, they know you're going to push them, you're going to help them, you're going to motivate them. Some niggas just only want to be around you because of that. So my thing is, if you building, was you working on this before you started fucking with me? Or once you started fucking with me? Because you know I'm going to add some type of... I, I'm going to add something to the table. I'm going to be able to help. Whether it's giving you confidence. Whether it's me giving you knowledge. Whether it's me helping you with a with an investment or something. 
That's the thing. Like you won't have to really try to sit up here and think about who, why are you, why are you here? Why? Why? Are you really here because you want to get to know me? Because you like me? Because you into me? Or because you into Super Saiyan? And you into the lifestyle that Super Saiyan can, can bring to you? Think about that. Like, think about it. Like, you don't, you, niggas, niggas be praying on women. Women used to pray on niggas. Now niggas praying on women. Just saying. You got to think about all that. But if you have a baby with them, why not build them too? Not saying you should, but y'all don't take the next step. Niece, I did all that. I did all that. You cannot make a nigga get up and get it. If it's not in him, it's not in him. It don't matter what you do for him. If it's not in him, it's not in him. Of course, we want our man to be a boss. We want our man to be this, that. But if it's not, if he don't want that for himself, we can't give them that. We can't. We trying to give them that so they can match our fly. So they can be on our level. But we can't give them that. It's not in them. It's not in their blood. It's not on their mind. It, like they don't have that in them. And we can't give that to him. We just can't. We could try our best. Help him with this, that. But it's not in them. It's just not. It's not. It's not. It's not. I'm sorry, it's not. Right. We tired of building niggas. We don't got time for that. We don't got time for that. This nigga got to already come built. If he need to be dusted a little bit sometimes, need to be polished a little bit, let me do that. But at least come built already. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Good night, love. <laughs> it's not. That's the thing. A girl, the girl, when she responded to the um to the Lori Harvey thing, I followed her. I forgot her name. But she made the video where they were saying, you know, they, you know, they're not respecting Laura Harvey, but they respecting the bitches that's basically standing around, you know. The ones that stand around through all the hurt, all the pain, all the disloyal actions and all that, that's the ones they praise. They ain't praising the bitches that's not putting up with these niggas bullshit. They ain't praising them kind of bitches. First thing they say is, you can't keep a man. No, a man can't keep me. Like the, they normalizing being down ass bitches. That what they normalizing. Sticking with a nigga through it all. No, 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 no. Think about, think about, you know, if you have a, you know, like you live in a regular life. Think about, you know, you being from a neighborhood or you being from somewhere, you from your city. A lot of people know you in your city and your nigga just around here fucking the whole fucking, whole fucking city. Think about it. Think about, think about how you can't even go to the club because hoes looking in your face because they didn't fuck your nigga. You can't even post your nigga because... The city laughing at you because they know your nigga a hoe. Your nigga doing this, you doing that or whatever. But you stand down with him because, you know, he come home to you and 
He probably doing this, doing that. But think about it when it's in front of millions of people. We ain't talking about the neighborhood no more. We ain't talking about your nigga being a, being a hoe in the club. We talking about your nigga being a hoe on social media. And this has been in millions of people's face. Now you just embarrassed in front of the whole motherfucking world. Niggas would embarrass the fuck out you. So imagine it being on this side. And it's just in front of the whole motherfucking world. That shit aggravate. That shit They ain't praising the bitches that's moving on. The bitches that ain't putting up with these niggas and all the baby mama drama. You know, and all the embarrassing moments and them fucking with this one and fucking with that one while they dealing with you. And all this, doing all this hoish ass shit. Nah, they praising the woman that's staying. They ain't praising the woman that, that ain't putting up with the shit. Definitely praise the week. I agree. Definitely don't care about women. Who is Jada? Yeah, that's and that's what I'm doing lately, you know. That's what I'm doing. I'm definitely trying to, whatever I got going on now, it will definitely be in, in private. Whatever I do, whoever I decide to do it with, whoever I decide to fuck with or whatever, it's definitely going to be in private. Now, if we decide to, you know, and I'm also not going to be, oh, you know, just because he say he won't build me and all that. Now, we ain't doing that. We going, you know, we going, you know, um, we going to just thug it out, you know, and if we... And if it lasts long, then we'll see what we're going to do. But even with that, think about this. Even with that, think about this. Think about you trying to be private with something and you can't even do nothing because the outside people that you see in, in public going to be taking pictures of you. Since sending this to the blog pages and all that. You still can't do nothing private. But y'all was all in Belize people trying to sleep with just me. You still can't be private. You still can't. Even when you, bitch, people can't even announce their own pregnancies no more. Because the world trying to sneak and take pictures and be the first person to cover the story. People can't announce nothing by themselves no more. Because if you if you out in public and you're doing something in public, they're going to want to take pictures and record everything you're doing. Like, you can't. It's not about, that's, that's the thing. I should, I should have to go to what's secluded for me to live my private life. If I want to do something privately when it comes to my love life, I shouldn't have to travel away with someone secluded. Nobody respects privacy no more. Nobody respects privacy. Like people can't do nothing them themselves. They can't announce anything themselves because everybody won't to 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 show that they. Yeah. Check it, that's you while I'm tripping. Because I don't know, I don't like your picture. But you know, I ain't got a lot of men talking about Lord. I don't see it. I don't, I don't really know what Boosty say, honestly. You, somebody got to tell me what he said. Right. 
good people be hiding in the bushes and in the Girl. When I was even in the airport, somebody was sneaking recording me and I caught him. I wasn't even tripping out by myself. But I should be thinking about, damn. What if I was with somebody? You know? How she ran through. Do you think you need to lose weight? You hear me? That's the thing, they don't even know if she fucked those niggas. It's automatically like she ran through. And even if she did, that's her business. Fuck it. That's her business and her game. And he don't know what a good girl is. Good girls be the hoes too. They just ain't Lori Harvey. They just ain't popular and, and a celebrity. So, um... Boots always make crazy statements, though. You know, I ain't about to take no advice from a nigga who sexualizing his children with adults. Boy, can I love? They say, yeah, I'm any fool. Nah, it wasn't 100% real. Nothing. How you gonna marry a, a, a good girl when you got buku baby mamas and all them fucking children? What if that woman don't want to put up with that shit? They got women that, that don't want to deal with niggas with buku baby mamas. Then what? Then what? No, I don't. I, I don't regret being open. I just know what not to do no more. I just know whatever's gonna go on in my life is, you know, just gonna be what it's gonna be. But I, I ain't, I ain't putting out nothing. And I'm trying my best not to, not to clear up shit neither, you know. But you know me, fuck all that. I'm trying my best to get to that point. But bitch, I, I ain't about to. One thing you can't do is you cannot you cannot ease a negative mind. You can't change a negative mind at all. If they're already thinking in their mind that you're a scammer, there's nothing you can say to prove that you're not a scammer. Because it's all, especially if they pass in information as if they you scammed them. People pass information around as if it happened to them. Like they don't know any if it's any type of truth in it. It just automatically passing rumors around. So you cannot change that. Their mind is already negative. That's why a lot of people don't address nothing. Because what could I say that's going to make you feel like this is not true? Nothing. Nothing. So I'm definitely trying to trying to get to that point. Even though it's kind of hard for me. But I'm trying to get to that point to where I don't want to have to address nothing. Whatever I do in my bed... In my house is on me. I take care of myself. Nobody take care of me. 
So, you know. Do you feel like the relationship will change from your first year? Fucking right. Fucking right. And they ain't my friend. Fucking right. I mean, fuck yourself, friends with Toby. That's the only friend you need. Yes. Thank you. Right. No, no, no. I, I think my success is amazing. I think my success is amazing. Hey, boo. Right. No, me, me and Tope, me and Tope best friends. That that wasn't the question. Wait, was that a question? What was the question? I thought I thought it said a relationship between me and him, not Tope. I, I told you it was fraudulent. No, I never said nothing about me and not being cool. I know I, I that's how I became relatable because I am I'm just open about stuff that I ain't been through. I ain't, I ain't been, you ain't been through nothing I ain't been through. I ain't been through nothing you ain't been through. So that's what make me more relatable to to people. Like I I talk about stuff that people would just be ashamed to talk about, and that's fine, you know. And I'm I'm fine with that. That's bitch. That's how I became, you know, who I am today. That's why I'm at in this. That's why I'm in this big ass house right now. Because people grew a liking to me because I was relatable. I'm personable. People can relate to me more whether I whether they got money or not. So that's why I don't I don't change I wouldn't change nothing about that. But I'm just talking about far as I um in the future, I'm just gonna move a little different when it comes to Men and especially with men with social media, I, I just don't feel like I have to post anything. I didn't post nothing about Valentine's Day, and I had an amazing Valentine's Day. Amazing, it was beautiful. Probably one of the best Valentine's ever. I didn't post nothing about that. I didn't post. I I, I just didn't post a lot of stuff, and that was peaceful for me. It was extremely peaceful, extremely like. And I, I just saw the difference between the two, me personally. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to try that for a while because I, I, I haven't really tried that. I'm going to try that for a while, see how it works. And if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. But I am single. I've been single for a little, I'm not going to say a minute, fuck it. been, you know, to me and, I, you know what? I honestly, I could personally say, I don't I don't count those last two relationship relationship, honestly. My last relationship was with Lou. Only because think about it, those last two lasted literally three months. That's it. That's not nothing, honestly. So technically my last relationship was with Lou. If it wasn't over six months, it wasn't a relationship. I I, I really say a year. If it wasn't over a year, it wasn't a relationship. So I can count my relationships I've been in. My first baby daddy. The dude out there. Get him honestly on the cool. I mean, he count. But he really don't. First baby, one, two. So technically, I've only been in three relationships. 
Just saying. Just saying. Now, I didn't been in a relationship four years ago, you know, before I was big on social media when, you know, it lasts about a good two, three, four months. And then it was over. Technically, to me, it don't count. It didn't last long enough. It don't count. It didn't last long enough. So, I really only been in three relationships. Three. All three of them lasted over a year. That's all I'm saying. 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 <laughs> right. You know, so. Those, you know, those last two was, you know, still. Still, you know. You know, but that was my bad, though. It is what it is. But, it, again, moving forward, we ain't doing that. Right. That was dating. So, yeah. I dated those last two. Wasn't a relationship. So, my last relationship was Lou. I just did it. Thank you. You ever see me and Van together somewhere? Together, just me and her, nobody else together. Why are you asking really close? You know we're not close. We cool. No, I don't miss that nigga no times. We just, we just, we just, we just didn't work. We not, we not just, mm -mm. Cool dude, though. Cool, cool dude. <laughs> Fuck no. Thank you. Can you admit to any issues of really? Oh yeah, of course. Of course I can. I remember I was in a relationship right after my baby daddy, right after Phil. And he left me, bitch, I was devastated. Not only did he left me, he the male he, he he demoted me from the, the main chick to the side chick. Oh girl. Stupid shit I ever been through, right? But um I think that relationship, it caused him to leave me because um, I wasn't really respecting him as a man. Like, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't respecting him. I wasn't being submissive. Um, I wasn't allowing him to be a man, even though it's the, I was working, he was working. Um, you know, it, it was, it, I, I, I wasn't submissive enough. So he left me. That was a hurtful breakup for me. Bitch, I cried for a long time for that breakup. And then just to, just to notice how, how he treated me after that, he really, like, just picked me down and picked me back up whenever he wanted to. So, you know, I, I learned a lot from that relationship, too. Other things is, um, that's a lot of other things. Some, some things got to do with a little trust, you know. But... And then I, I need to know how to. I need to learn how to, to when I'm talking to a man, how to talk to him when I'm mad. I be saying some crazy things. That's because I be mad though. But I, I, I gotta watch that. I really do. I need to start watching that because when I get mad, bitch, I be mad. But you everything under the sun when I'm mad. So I need to. I, I really need to focus on that. Honestly, I really do. I'm going to work on it, though. No. I ain't be myself. She's she, she talking about all relationships, not just, you know. Nah, so, being, being come on, you, you 
you, you reach with that one. Basically meaning if a man, if a man is being a man, let him be the man. Calm your bitch ass down sometimes. You know, you're trying to tell him you don't need him because you could take care of yourself. Yeah, he know that. He know that. But God damn, you know. So that that, that, that was me in my second second relationship. Like I could see, I was I was doing too much. You know. And my mouth get reckless. And my hands get loose. So yeah. Oh, you should definitely speak up with something bothering you. See, I don't got that problem. I be even look. I um if something bothering me, I gotta tell you right now. So what do you be calling him? A punk bitch. You know, I never call a man a punk bitch. And if he a punk, that's different. You know, but uh, he, he wouldn't be my boyfriend. He'd be somebody I'm just, you know. But no, fuck no. I, you know, you, you just... Calling a man a bitch, period, is, is, is you know, is disrespectful. Honestly. Yeah, we did. We was how to be so strong to our like we run we run mentally. I know friend. I already know. You hear me? Make it and break it. It means loyalty and Swahili. Okay, you try it, fuck it in. Yeah. We have been, so you know. What you, what you talking about, Orchard? Because I called them that. That's why they said that. I called them that. I'm pissing me off. That's what I'm saying. It's my mom reckless when I'm mad. You see what I'm saying? But I was mad. You can't play on me. No, that was no ski. Was no fucking ski. Nah, I don't have a hard time being feminine at all. I know how to be feminine, but he, I, I got to be feminine to a man. Not no bitch ass nigga. I, I've done a video about that. You bring them around your children, but not in your house. You bring them, you, 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 you ease them around. You ease, you ease, you, you ease them around. Like you don't, you know, somewhere in public. When, when your children see, see a man out in public, he don't, your children don't think this your boyfriend. Your children think this somebody who you know, and they can't spoke this, that, and all that. Then you see how they interact with your children, this, that, and all that. Then, you know, y'all may go to a fucking uh, a football game or something together. You know, like the little, like the little games. They be. I'm not saying a real football game, but your children don't think that this somebody who you just, who you know, like like this mommy friend. If you're in a, you know, like you're in a restaurant, then he come walk up and say, oh, I'm going to sit in here with y'all. You know, like your kids thinking this, this mommy friend. This, that, and all. Okay. 
same thing, bitch. Like, you don't gotta, they ain't supposed to be seeing them coming out your bed. Out your house, you know, walking out your bedroom. You know, now your kids know somebody, you you know, you deal with me, babe. You ease them around. You ease, ease, ease them around. You pay attention. If a man wants you, he wants your children too. Just saying. If a man wants you, he wants everything that come with you. Your children too. So that means he going to treat your children right. And he's supposed to be real attentive to your children too. My son is very clingy. He likes to talk. You know, he likes to talk. Trey don't want to talk and all that. I'm trying to see how you holding a conversation with my son. Because I talk to my son. My son likes to have to always tell stories and all that. I be listening. Is you going to listen? You know. And when your kids get of age, your kids are going to tell you if they like this man or not. You know, you ease them niggas around your children. They didn't you just ain't supposed to be seeing niggas come out your bedroom and all that. You ease them around. That's all. You know, now it's a little, and now by Trey being older, it's, it's, it's a little different with Trey. You know, Trey older now. So, I, I got to be real, real, real careful with, with Trey because now he understand. Now he pay more attention. Now he know, you know. Right, it's, it's special, especially with girls. Special girl. Yes, the kids do get attached fast. Girl, Trey blew me. Trey got attached to see you, bitch ass. Piss me off. Go ahead on. Let it go, Trey. <laughs> yeah, you know, boys, you know, boys different. Yeah, he real protective. Boy, we. Give me. Real. Boy, come text me. Boy, let it go. Soft girl, that was my cousin. I, I knew that was my cousin in life. And I knew. Well, I'm glad you knew this. Sis had to find out for herself. That's all. Sis had to find out for herself. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I send this, this picture to my cousin. There you go. <laughs> I'm weak. I'm weak. Yeah. Trey's a special kid. Yeah. 
Thank you. I agree. Thank you. Girl. No, I probably won't. Girl lies. She means you're the only man I need. Girl lies. Okay, woman's mine. Oh, my bird in New Orleans? Lies. What happened? What happened? You tell me who it was, so. Y'all just automatically thought it was somebody I was fucking with. Thank you, love. That's what y'all did. 